A very good afternoon, student. Torque acting on a bar magnet in uniform magnetic field. This is very important. Three more question from your third lesson, twelfth standard physics subject. You are consider a bar magnet, bar magnet of length two l. Yeah, this is the length two l of pole strength Q m kept in a uniform magnetic field. Yeah, this is the important point uniform magnetic field b vector each poles experience the force of magnitude q m b magnitude force of magnitude q m b but acts in a opposite direction here act in a opposite direction therefore the net force exerted on the magnet is zero because both the forces are equal but acting in a opposite direction but acting in the opposite direction. So that is why the net force exerted on the magnet is zero. So that there is no translatory motion. These two forces constitute a couple about a midpoint of bar magnet which will rotate and try to align in the direction of the magnetic field B vector. Next important the force experienced by the north pole the force experienced by the north pole is nothing but fn vector is equal to qm b vector similarly the force experienced by the south pole here fs vector is equal to minus qm b vector adding these two equation both the forces are equal but acting in opposite direction so what we what we get f vector is equal to f1 vector plus fs vector is equal to 0. The next, this implies that the net force acting on a dipole is 0, but forms a couple which tends to rotate the bar magnet clockwise here in order to align in it along b vector, along b vector direction. The moment of force or torque experienced by the north and south pole about a point O is tau vector already we know the symbol of torque tau tau vector is equal to this is the point o o to n o n vector into f n vector plus o s vector into f s vector what is the formula for the torque torque is nothing but force into perpendicular distance here force is f n vector perpendicular distance is o n vector direction OS is the distance perpendicular distance, then force is FS. So force into perpendicular distance is nothing but torque. So sum of these two poles of vectors, ON vector into FN vector plus OS vector into FS vector. Here FN vector is nothing but already we know the value of FN vector. FN vector is nothing but QMB vector. FS is nothing but minus QM, QMB vector. Here substituting the value. I replace this value fn vector and fs vector we have time on vector into qm b vector plus os vector into minus qm b vector by using right hand cork screw rule we concluded that total torque is pointing into the paper since the magnitude on vector is equal to modulus of on vector is equal to modulus of os vector os vector and on vector both the um, Value is the same because O to N is nothing but L, O to S is nothing but L. So, OS modulus of o, o N vector is equal to modulus of OS vector is equal to L. Similarly, QMB vector is equal to minus QMB vector. Both the forces are equal but acting in an opposite direction. Magnitude of total torque about a point O. Now, substituting the value, this value, we have obtained tau is equal to L into QMB sin theta because this is the vertical direction vertical component is nothing but sin theta l into qmb sin theta plus l into qmb sin theta so l plus l 2l qmb sin theta qmb sin theta 2 qmb sin theta so 2l into qmb sin theta already we know the formula for the magnetic dipole moment qm into 2l is nothing but pm so, Pm is nothing but magnetic dipole. Tau is equal to Pm into B sin theta. Very, very important formula for your objective type question or problem question. 
tau is equal to pm into b sin theta. In vector notation, tau vector is equal to p vector m, pm vector into b vector. Thank you.